never been more exciting for me. I am indeed filled with great pride as a son of the land to be here today to mark a significant milestone in the journey towards enhancing healthcare and the healthcare delivery in Ghana and in the southern Volta region. About 15 months ago, we gathered here to cut sword for the construction of the 60-bed maternity and neonatal intensive care unit for the Keta Municipal Hospital. This was a promise made as part of this was a promise made as part of MTN Ghana's 25th anniversary celebrations and a reflection of our continuing commitment to shared value in the communities in which we operate. On behalf of the MTN Ghana Foundation, I am honored to be here today to officially hand over the ultra-modern Keta Maternity Ward to the management and staff of the Keta Municipal Hospital. This is the third and by far the largest of the maternity block projects. Thank you very much. The third and by far the largest of the maternity block projects the MTN Ghana Foundation has ever completed in Ghana. The MTN Ghana Foundation focuses on three main pillars, healthcare, education, and economic empowerment. As part of our research and analysis, we noticed that we had not done any project in the Volta region for several years, and saw the need to seek out a worthy project in the region. This project could not have come at a better time. I am proud to also share that we have recently also received approval for the expansion of the accident and emergency block of the whole teaching hospital. Of the whole teaching hospital, not of the Keta hospital. <laughs> Thank you. Work is expected to commence in June 2024. Prior to these projects, MTN Ghana Foundation had revealed the gen I beg your pardon. Prior to these projects, the MTN Ghana Foundation had renovated the general OPD and maternity ward of the Peja Health Center and constructed a pipeline to provide portable water for Pevetongu community. In the area of education, the foundation constructed a three-unit classroom block for the Akachi DA Basic School and a 50-seater capacity library for Chito Senior High School. There is also a 30-seater ICT center and library that we provided to the Ablave Nolepe community. Ladies and gentlemen, healthcare is a fundamental right. And ensuring access to quality medical services for all Ghanaians, especially for mothers and newborns, remains a dream for many in our communities. I am the son of two medical practitioners who hail from Keta, and I've had the privilege of quality healthcare all my life. It is easy to forget the reality for the many others who have no access, and even when they cannot afford quality healthcare. My heart skips a beat when I hear the sad stories of lives lost due to the deplorable nature of our medical facilities. How many more change makers from the Volta region could we have lost? Another Esther Oklu, the first Ghanaian female industrialist and one of the founders of the Women's World Banking. Or another Ephraim Amo, a composer of the popular Ghanaian song. Or another Fred Kwesi Apalu, the former Chief Justice of Ghana. Or another Dr. G.K. Agama, the longest serving former governor of the Bank of Ghana, all hailing from the Volta region, to name a few. Who knows what could have been? This recognition gave the needed fuel and motivation to the MTN Ghana Foundation to embark on this noble project with the aim of making a tangible impact on the lives of the people of the Southern Volta region. 
especially women and children in the Keta community and the surrounding townships. Today is International Women's Day. I would like to pay a special recognition to all the women amongst us. This is indeed for you and our children in the future. It is our expectation that our intervention with this project would help reduce Ghana's neonatal mortality from the dire 22.8 deaths in every thousand live beds closer to the target set by the UN Sustainable Development Goal of 12 deaths per thousand. We also hope that this would reduce the maternal mortality from Ghana's dire 263 per thousand closer to the SDG target of 70. The construction of the state-of-the-art 19 million Ghana cities maternity ward would help to alleviate some of the maternal and infant health challenges faced by mothers and newborns in the Keta environs. With 60 beds, modern equipment, such as a theater, laboratory equipment, incubators and ventilators, and dedicated staff, we expect and know that the facility will provide a safe and comfortable environment for mothers to give birth and receive postnatal care in the best of qualities. Let me share a bit more about what is included in the new block. The provision of quality health Oh. 